a super easy and delicious way to make falafel burgers. Enjoy! Okay, so to start us off, we're just going to grab ourselves a can of chickpeas. We're going to empty those out into a sieve to give them a quick rinse, clean them. After that, we're going to lay them out on a paper towel. You want to try and pat them dry, try and remove any of the excess moisture. Once we're done with that, we'll put the chickpeas in a bowl or a food processor if you have one. Then we'll add two tablespoons of sesame seeds. And then you'll put the lid on the food processor, hopefully with slightly more ease than myself. And not to worry, if you don't have a food processor, you can easily use a bowl as well. And then to mash the chickpeas up, a potato masher or fork will do the job. Um, in between mixes, make sure to kind of scrape down the sides, make sure that you're keeping everything together. So next we want to start chopping up our veg. First get a large carrot, chop that up into chunks. Don't need to be too small because we're going to chuck them in the food processor anyway. Then same with half a red onion, chop that up. Again, doesn't need to be super small. Three cloves of garlic or more if you want. And lastly about half a cup of cilantro or coriander, whatever you call it. Now we're just going to chuck all those vegetables into the food processor with the chickpeas and sesame seeds and we're going to pulse this until it's finely ground. Again, if you don't have a food processor that is completely fine, just get yourself a large kind of grater to grate the onion and carrot as small as possible as well as finely grating the garlic and chopping the cilantro as finely as possible and just scrape those all into a bowl as well. Now time for the spices, we had 2 teaspoons of cumin two teaspoons of coriander, one teaspoon of salt, and about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now we're just gonna dump all those lovely spices into our chickpea and vegetable mix. Now alongside that, before mixing, you also wanna add in about six tablespoons of flour, plain flour. Now once all that's in, we're just gonna whiz everything together do this for a while, make sure that everything's incorporated and combined, but also make sure not to overmix it because we do want the burger patties to have some sort of texture. Just look at that beautiful colour and I can assure you it smells amazing at this point as well. Now we're just going to empty out everything in our food processor into a bowl, then we're going to want to pop that into the fridge so when it comes to shaping the burger patties it's a lot easier to do. I managed to get about six beautifully shaped patties out of the mixture. Now we're just going to grab ourselves a pan, put some olive oil in it and let that heat up a bit. Now we're just going to grab those patties one by one and place them in the oil. I will say make sure your oil is hot so that you can get a nice crust on the burger. I want to let them cook for about 5-6 minutes on each side and then obviously just flipping them in between and hopefully you'll have a lovely golden brown crust. We're also just going to slice up some cucumber and tomatoes to put into our burger. Moving on now, we're just going to come up with a quick nice burger sauce. Going to add some tahini, some lemon juice, some olive oil, salt and a dash of water as well. Then we're just going to whisk that, mix that all up as much as we can and hopefully it thickens slightly as well. Then we're just going to grab a dollop of that, spread it on our two sides of the burger bun which you can toast if you like as well. Then you just add your fillings, it's up to you really what you want to but obviously we had the cucumber, tomato, added in a bit of spinach as well. Top that with your burger and the other half of the burger bun and you are done. Enjoy!